Behind me is a Tesla Model X ludicrous performance with satin black PPF and D-chrome. This is the fastest and most expensive car that I've ever driven. So I want to give a big thank you to Portland Autos for trusting me to drive this car. If you're in the Doncaster area, make sure you check them out. The link's in the description. So Vicky, would you care to join me as we take a look at this incredible car? Oh my God. So you will notice, first of all, the Falcon doors, which are just the most incredible thing that I've ever seen. Press this button and they close. <laughs> and if I double tap the side of the key, we can make them open again. Look at that. Oh my God. Becky, I'll meet you around the other side. Hello, it's just me sat in my Tesla Model X Ludicrous Performance. It can do 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds. So we're definitely going to do that in a little bit. I have so much room in the back. How do I close it from up here? Is there a button? Ah. No. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's see how much room do I have. Look how much headroom I've got. So for you guys, to be fair, it looks like I've got less. But if I do move over to this side, you will see that there's a glass area here, which is where my head goes. So I do actually end up with plenty room. And then there's seats behind us as well. Becky, I'll meet you around that way. Head around that way. Open the boot, Becky. Hello. <laughs> so yes, you can have this massive hatchback boot, which is just incredible. I'm very jealous of the hatchback boot. And then if you want to, you can lift these seats up as well to have even more seats. So that's like three levels of seats. That is incredible. Right, how do I leave? Yes. Oh, hello. And these Falcon doors are very, very clever because if there's a car parked here and it's got less room, it actually just opens differently so that it can carefully open round, which is just amazing. It can just sense the distance that is available to it. So what if you're stood here? Will it do that? We could try that, yeah, I suppose. Should we see what happens? <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not really a fair test, am I? I press the button. <laughs> It hurt me nose. <laughs> so yes, this is a 2020 model. So it had to be de-chromed rather than came de-chromed stock. So by that, I mean, this was originally silver, whereas they've turned it into this kind of like matte black to match the rest of the car, which looks really nice. And they've done the same thing with the logo and the door handles, as you can see as well. And then in terms of the actual rest of the color of the car, it's not a wrap like my pink model three, it's actual PPF. So it's transparent. So the car was originally black like it is now. They had this protective film over the top to protect it from from stones and that sort of stuff. And then they do an extra little thing which kind of adds the sort of satin chrome effect over the top, which does look really, really nice. It looks better until we drove through the mud. I was driving so carefully on the way here. I don't know how that happened. I'm so sorry, Portland Autos. Okay, I mean, at this point, shall I head inside? I think I should. Oh, what's this? What's this? That's right, the door opens itself. Now you can also configure the door to open just when you get near it but we don't currently have that set up because these aren't my keys and stuff. All right, Becky, do you want to head inside, open your door, and uh, we'll take a look? <laughs> oh, hi. Thanks for joining me on my Tesla Model X performance ludicrous mode. No worries. Oh, you see that door? Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, that's right. It's closed itself, and I didn't even have to do anything. Well, actually, I did do something. I pressed the brake with my foot, and then that automatically closes the door, which is incredibly cool. Well, my door's closed. Becky, what about yours? You fancy closing your door? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. So, not quite as fancy as not doing anything with the hands at all, but yes, Becky can just pull this lever, and then that opens and closes the door, which is pretty epic. Look at that. That's cool. That is really, really cool. Now, once we're actually in here, first thing we notice is look at this kind of massive panoramic windscreen that we've got. It's just so much space because in the Model 3, there is a big board here that is, you know, it's quite restricting, whereas I can see so much of the sky here. Uh, I do have this, but... Ooh! <laughs> look at that! That's so weird. So just in case the sun is in my eyes... I've got this little fella. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's going to block anything. <laughs> but because this is UV protected anyway, you shouldn't really have too many issues. Let me pull that. Trim it back. Very, very nice. Second thing we notice, the screen's the wrong way around. Yes, it is a vertical screen rather than a horizontal screen. 
I don't really understand why Tesla ever did this because it just means that when you're looking at stuff right at the bottom, it's so far away from the road in front of you that it's just gonna cause more of a distraction. But it's not something I noticed being too much of a problem on the 20 minute drive here. But brand new 2021, 2022 Model Xs are fitted with a screen that looks a lot more like the Model 3. And then the next thing we notice is there is another screen right in front of us. So this gives us information about the car and it also, when I'm in drive, it'll tell me my speed. So if I do go into drive, you will see we've got our speed limit right there. Look at that. Not currently doing anything. It's shouting at you, Becky, because you don't have your seatbelt on. I have my seatbelt on because I'm a responsible adult. Becky, put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Very good. Good. Great stuff. <laughs> Get out with it. Now the next thing we'll notice when we take a look back at this little screen is apparently we're playing Ice in the Sun on Boom Radio. We are as well, who knew? But then we can see the speed limit is there, which is great. And if you look, what's that Becky? What does it say above the speed limit? Chill. It says we're in chill mode. What the hell are we doing in chill mode? Let's get out of that because this is the fastest car that I've ever driven. It could do 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds, which is absolutely insane. Our Model 3, which we thought was incredibly quick, is 3.7 seconds. So that's absolutely crazy. So what I'm going to do is if we have a look in here and we go to driving, we've got chill, sport, and that's where it ends in my car. But this car has yeah. ludicrous and ludicrous plus. <laughs> Oh my god, are you sure you want to push the limits? This will condition your battery to a high temperature where it has low evidence test. Best for short term acceleration performance. Do you know what? <clears throat> no, I want my mommy. I don't think I'm quite ready. <laughs> I don't think I want to drive along this road in ludicrous plus mode. Maybe we'll wait until we're on somewhere a bit more flat. But I will go in ludicrous for now. Okay, so I'm now in ludicrous mode and I do just want to... Ooh! Ooh, <laughs> let's back out of there for now. <laughs> oh, look, look at all these things we can click. Uh, oh. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, 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 where's he going next? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. And then, you ready for this one? Close all. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> it feels like a spaceship, doesn't it? It's god, amazing. this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. So I think they've added carbon fiber to some of the inside panels, which does look really, really nice as well. This car's available, by the way. You can go buy this if you head to Portland Autos. All right, I think at this point, it is time to have a little bit of a drive around in this car. We're gonna have to do a ludicrous plus not to 60, aren't we? I mean, it'd be rude not to. I'm very, very excited for that. So let's get ourselves onto our not to 60 road. This is gonna be incredible. Just as a little teaser of what's coming up. <laughs> and that's ludicrous mode, not ludicrous plus. Oh God. <laughs> oh, Becky, I can't help noticing that we're about to get off the rocky road onto this nice flat tarmac road. Isn't that a bit of fun? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> so that's ludicrous mode, not ludicrous plus mode. Oh my god! Ludicrous <laughs> mode. Gee! <laughs> it is just incredible that a massive family car that can fit like seven people inside of it and all their luggage for the beach could also drive that quickly. It's just absolutely insane. That's why the Model X is just so impressive because it, it could do everything that you would ever want in a car. Oh my God, Becky, I'm excited for Ludicrous Plus One. <laughs> yeah, me too. Jeez. <laughs> well, uh, I guess it's time to try Ludicrous Plus mode. So driving, Ludicrous Plus, uh, yes, bring it on. Oh God, firmly hold the brake pedal with your left foot. Okay. Fully press and hold the accelerator pedal while holding the brake pedal. Wait for launch mode enabled message. Oh Step three, to launch, release the brake pedal. I'm stressed. <laughs> okay, so you might be able to hear that the car is literally making a completely different noise. There's like just this buzzing noise. So, hold down brake with my left foot. <laughs> hold down accelerator. And now apparently, launch mode enabled. Oh right, Becky, I hope you're ready. Yeah. I, I think I just need to let go now.
That was absolutely incredible. That, <laughs> that felt so, so quick. Well, that was absolutely crazy. Now, you might be thinking, Jack, what are you doing holding the camera while at the wheel? Don't worry. Becky is now at the wheel because I've just done a note to 60. It's time for us to swap over and Becky do a note to 60 in ludicrous plus mode. This is going to be absolutely I'm incredible <laughs> and it's gonna be mad for me as well because if you've watched our videos for a while you know that when you do an auto 60 it's the passenger that like really feels it the most so i'll get to experience what becky experienced when she made all those funny noises and we're gonna access ludicrous mode via the toy box which should give us a nice satisfying animation so i mean it's up to you now becky whenever whenever you're ready oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. yeah i don't blame okay, you are you ready yes She's clicked, let's do this. <laughs> oh, there we go, we got some cool stars. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh my God, so I don't know, is, is it ready to roll now? Must be. Yeah, it's making the scary engine noises. Okay, do you remember exactly how to do it and everything? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good luck, Becky. Are you ready? Yeah. Woohoo! Oh my God, my head. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that did. <laughs> my neck was just like slammed against here because I didn't have my head against the the headrest. Oh, that's the funniest thing ever! Wow, this car is absolutely crazy. That, that <laughs> that's mad. I actually got cramp in my stomach. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we've got a couple of small things we wanna show off that the car has that our Model 3 doesn't, and then we're gonna end off with probably the biggest Model X Easter egg that there is. So there is, a, you know, like three little things that I wanna take a look at with the car, and one of those is the suspension. Because in order to do the launch mode on Ludacris Plus, you also have to have your ride height down to low, which I believe the ride height makes the ride height higher or lower. So I wanna actually see what that looks like from the outside. So I'm gonna get out of the Model X by doing this. No big deal or anything. And then I'm gonna ask Becky to adjust to all of the different modes, just so we can see, does the car actually move? Let's have a look. Oh, no worries, no worries. Could you wind the window down please, Becky? There she is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so could you change to very low and then all the others? So I'll just see what happens. All right, she's changing to very low. It went lower! <laughs> well, that was quite interesting. So just in case it wasn't super clear seeing the height change on camera, here's a time lapse of it going from very high to very low. You can see it seems to go through all the modes a stage at a time. Next thing I want to do is just have a quick look in the frunk because you'll see that this bonnet is huge. We've seen how big the boot is. Let's see how big the frunk is. Becky, would you mind opening the frunk, please? There we go. And then, oh, look at this. So it's quite narrow that way, but it is very wide that way. It's a lot, lot bigger than my car. Just like the Model 3, you have to close the front manually. There we go. And now let's take a look at the tinted windows. Oh my God, yeah. It's so hard to see Becky. I can just see myself. Can you open the windows for comparison, please, Becky? Where is she? There she is. <laughs> so yeah, that offers a lot of privacy. That's it's pretty crazy. Day. That is mad. Right, get out, get out. It's time for the final Easter egg. Right, time for the final thing. I'm sure many of you have guessed it's the Tesla Model X weird dance thing. I've seen many, many YouTube videos of this, but I have never seen it in real life. I'm sure this is going to be ridiculous. I don't know how loud it's going to be as well or how long it lasts, but I guess we'll see what happens. So it's quite simple to do. First thing we need to do is roll all of our windows down. So there's the front ones and the back ones as well. And then you just head into the toy box and we select Model Xmas. Start the show. The show will begin after you exit the Model X, close all doors and press the lock button on your key fob. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Good luck, Vicky. <laughs> oh my God, something's happening. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, isn't this nice? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Oh 
Oh my god, the front doors are open as well. Oh my god. It's <laughs> <laughs> absolutely amazing. No way! <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was interesting. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Pretty uh, cool. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. Yeah, that was uh, pretty unbelievable. I, I've never seen anything like it. Well, if you want to buy this car, Portland Autos link are in the description. They've got loads of luxury cars, not just Teslas. Thanks so much to them for letting us borrow this. And yeah, it was such a fun experience to actually get to drive a Tesla Model X. And hopefully they'll let us drive a bunch of other cool cars as well. Any particular car you want to see me drive, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to Jack Massey Welsh and I'll see you later.